here boys and girls I want to do a really quick tutorial on um, using transformer in CC3 Pro just really quick I, I don't think this is anything new is anything that Daz hasn't already covered but somebody's having difficulty with uh, with doing it so I thought I would I would do one real quick and those of you that know how to do this just skip it don't worry about it I'll, I'll try to give some tips and pointers. Though. Anyway, this is uh, Teen Josie. I just brought her in. Teen Josie 8. He, that's the one he's using. I'm not going to put any hair on her for now, but I did put a dress on her. Uh, not necessarily for propriety's sake, although it should be for a teenager, but uh, because I want to show you something about clothing, too. So I just I just stuck on this dress. Okay, first thing we want to do is definitely make sure we put a T-pose on her. So we use the, the T-poses that come in the Character Creator Daz Resource uh, template, and you can just... You know, you can just drag and drop the poses. It's hard for me to do in this dual monitor situation. I don't know if you can still see, but I'm, I'm dragging the, uh, the G8 female pose onto her. Just drag it over there like that, and then it, it uh, puts that on there. So, so now I have, I have these things here. I have Teen Josie, and all of the stuff is underneath her like that. And now I'm going to export this. I'm going to go File and Export. And the export settings are really good um, uh, to, to get right. Um, Josie, I don't know how to spell her name exactly. Uh, you want to make sure you do this, okay? So no hidden. Uh, I don't know that that necessarily makes a difference. And definitely you want to have figures, props. You don't necessarily need animations, but I always leave it checked. Locks, limits, morphs, definitely. And then these settings are very important. You want to have merged clothing and figure skeleton, uh, decorated skinning, skinning and scaling. But do not check mark any of these others. If you check mark any of these others, the textures will not come across properly. It's not designed to be check marked here or there. And you want to use 212 binary, okay? FDX 212 binary. So that's it. So that's the the textures that you, uh, or the check marks that you want to export. But definitely don't collect the textures. You might say, well, why not collecting the textures? That's because uh, the new CC3 routines use my code uh, to actually generate the textures for uh, by knowing where the textures are located in the in your directory. So. Uh, the only time that won't work is if for some reason you are exporting the file from uh, one computer and then importing it in on a different computer. If you're doing that, then you will have problems. Uh, so this always assumes that you're exporting it on the same computer that you're going to be importing it on. So go to Transformer, okay, come down to Teen Josie, open it up. Uh, if you do the basic, it's going to apply the regular texture that comes in with um, the CC3 characters, so it won't, it won't grab those textures from Daz. So we don't want to do that, we want to do advanced. Um, so that's why you want to select advanced. And you, if you're just importing clothing, let's say you're just gonna, you've already imported your avatar, but you want to get some different clothing, then you can use the basic and it's much faster. It, it won't take as long to find all those textures. So uh, that's all I do. Normally what I do is I always import my naked avatars and then I go ahead and, uh, and save them out and then I import clothing <laughs> from, uh, I should have turned that off. Then I import the clothing separately and save it out because it's just a little quicker that way. But you can do it any way you want. So it comes in this way. So it shows you these sort of parts, summer dress, cloth, okay, and you can change your, you know, the texture any way you want it. But we want to bake the body textures. Again, if you don't do this, it's not going to find uh, where those textures are. And I'm going to leave it at 1024. But you can you can crank this up as high as you want, up to 4K if you want. But I always use 1024 because I don't really want my textures to be that high when I'm actually rendering and doing things. So this is going to take a while. Uh, unfortunately, I can't speed up this process. But you notice it is baking the textures on here uh, for everything. And it's going to locate it. What it does is it goes to the... The way this actually works, which is why you don't incorporate it when you don't in Daz here, you don't when you save it out, you don't save the file textures. Because if you do that, then it won't save the path to the textures that needs to be in uh, the file itself. So the FDX file has to contain that path. Uh, so by writing the textures out, then you won't you won't get that properly. So you don't want to write those textures out. Um, so now it's just baking and it's going to take like freaking forever. <laughs> It just takes a while. I have a very fast machine, and uh, and it takes a long time even on a fast machine. But the good news is, because it's taking a long time, you know that it's getting all those textures. And what it's really doing, and I've explained this before, but it, it's worth noting, 
is that, because you might say, well, Mike, why don't I just drag and drop my textures over here, you know, to the skin of the body and I can drag the base color and the normals and stuff. Unfortunately, you can't do that. The, the UVs of the CC3 character are different than the UVs for the DAS characters. So basically what this is doing is it's remapping all those textures and creating brand new UVs and then baking them into uh, those textures. So once you've done that, you can't go back. <laughs> there's, there's, no, there's no dragging and dropping DAS textures over here to get the same process. You just can't do that. So that's why it's taking a long time, is it's completely rewriting the, the UVs as part of that, uh, that texture process. And it does a good job, but it, it uh, and, and it's much faster than it used to be. I remember, I remember early on, this was very, very slow, but now it's, uh, it's definitely increased. So um, we're getting there, we're almost there. Last few textures take, seem to take the longest. Okay, there we go, baking the textures. And then there we come in. Okay, so there, there it comes in. Now I want to show you. So first, a couple things. We'll we'll close up here, and you can see those textures are baked in. But you notice the the roughness is is turned up a little too high on here. The normals. So I like to go in here, and this and this will happen if you get the um, uh, the regular bump map normals instead of the you know the the normal maps. You know what I'm talking about. The, a regular normal map as opposed to a bump map. So this came in too hot. So, uh, so for the bump maps, then, oh, it's got, the reason is it's got displacement. I say, I hate that. So I would, I would actually take the displacement out of there and then notice it's, it's much better. You don't really need it to be displaced. So, so that helps a whole lot. Same thing for the skin, for the body. We can get the, uh, I don't know why they brought the displacement maps. Don't blame me. I did, <laughs> I, I didn't, I wasn't bringing in displacement maps. So uh, for some reason they do. So, uh, so they can see, so the textures are pretty good. Uh, you might adjust it a little bit, but, but basically it's, it's pretty good. And you notice you can get, notice how the ear is a little bit uh, textured there. If you go into the scene and you change that to, uh, from here to subdivision, you can see that that smooths out those things. So that gives you a, a nice thing. So anyway, so that's, there really isn't much to that. The thing I wanted to show you about clothing though, was that if you uh, wanted to use this for something, so if we wanted to go to pros and we wanted to go to female and let's do a walk here. Actually, that's not bad. Um, let, me get more, let me get a more extreme pose here. Okay. Um, see, notice how that, that's, not, that's not actually deforming properly. Oh, and I didn't fix the skin, the texture on the legs too, so I could probably do that too. Uh, I, I, I'm so, God, I'm so anal. Uh, I could just kind of ignore that, except I really just can't because it bothers the heck out of me. Okay, so uh, what I wanted to show you was so that you need to transfer the weights on these things. These these actually are not weighted properly when they come in. So if you go here and you go transfer skin weights, and so for this thing you transfer it, you make it a dress, and when, once you transfer the dress, it will align better. Now you notice it's still not perfect. Uh, one of the reasons it's not, but it's much better. You notice how it fits much better around the butt. Uh, the reason it's not perfect, though, is that this dress really needs some physics on it. And I've covered those in some of my other tutorials. I'll go out there. But I did want to mention to you that you definitely want to go ahead and apply the weights because it's not applying the weights properly uh, when it brings them over. And hopefully someday that will be fixed. I also have some requests and some ideas on how that can be fixed, too. So hopefully they'll cover, cover that. So anyway, so that's really about all there is to it. There's really... There's really nothing, nothing much to this. It's pretty automatic, the process. I gotta fix the arms too. Ah, it drives me crazy. Okay, one more thing. We'll go up here just to, just to, uh, just to get this finalized. This is only if you have a displacement map. Otherwise, it's not a problem. Okay, anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching, and hopefully this will help.